All right, I got a confession to make. I was hoping I was never gonna have to do this publicly, but it, it has to be done, and it has to be done this week. So, a little secret. I am jealous of Ashley Amberge. You may or may not know who Ashley is. She is the author of The Middle Finger Project, which came out yesterday, well, by the time you see this, it will have come out two days ago. But that's not why I am jealous. I'm not jealous of her because she's a published author. But in order to fully understand why I'm shooting this video, you gotta know a little bit of the backstory. Okay, so here's the deal. So Ashley started a blog called The Middle Finger Project over a decade ago, like way back, very like dinosaur age in internet years. Uh, we started our blogs around the same time. And coincidentally, we talk about a lot of the same things. We talk about copywriting, we talk about freelancing, we talk about quitting your job, we talk about building your own business. She just does it in a much more vulgar way and she does it predominantly for women. I have only met Ashley one time in person. It was at a meetup for Chris Gillibo's first book tour in Philadelphia in 2010. I was supposed to introduce Chris at his uh, book event. I was supposed to take the subway to get out to said book event. Subway stopped working. I don't know if you've ever been on the Philadelphia subway. Worst subway I've ever been on anywhere in the world. It was horrible. Um, long story short, Ashley had to leave the event come pick me up. By the time we got back to the event, well, the event was over. So to make a long story short, we ended up going out for drinks, local dive karaoke bar uh, with Chris and all the people that came to the event and Ashley offered to give me a ride back into, into Philly. Like six, seven hours later, a bunch of drinks called a pickleback later, um, I was sufficiently intoxicated and we had a, a great time. It was a lot of fun. There was a group of us that went and I have not seen Ashley since that day. Now, fast forward about a decade, little, little less than a decade, I sent her an email out of the blue about a year ago and said, hey Ash, haven't talked to you in forever. Let's catch up. And you know what she said? She said absolutely nothing. Didn't get a reply for months, like six months. And then finally, finally one day, I got a response that said this. You can see it right here. And ever since that moment, we've been sending each other sarcastic messages going back and forth, uh, talking about our businesses and different things. It's been great. And today, her, or, well, two days ago, by the time you watch this, two days ago, her book came out. There's a link below to go buy it. I seriously think it's like the 2020 version of the four hour work week with more cussing. Um, so if you're looking for a book that's all about quitting your job and stuff like that, I recommend you go check it out. But here's the thing. I have not talked to Ashley on the phone in about 10 years. Like we've sent each other like audio messages back and forth via iChat, apparently you could do that. But we've never actually had like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So I'm gonna go give her a call. We're gonna ask her a couple questions about the book. She doesn't know I'm calling her, so we'll see if she actually picks up. And we'll let her tell you why you should go buy this book. But before we do that, you might remember a few episodes ago, I was selling a condo that was in complete disrepair. Well, apparently that condo has now been staged uh, it's going on the market tomorrow, and I have yet to see it all fancy and staged. So let's go check it out over there. We'll give Ashley a call, and uh, we'll we'll see if she actually picks up. Not gonna lie, don't remember these stairs being quite such a pain in the ass, but apparently I'm just out of shape because I used to do this like every day, but now I'm kind of tired. Could be because I just worked out, but that's no excuse. Still going up. Okay, I'm just there. All right, we made it. Now to see this place furnished for the first time, well, almost since I lived there like five and a half years ago. Let's see how it looks. What? It actually looks like a real place. Wow, it looks way better than it did when I, when I lived here. <laughs> buy this place. All right, like I said, I haven't talked to Ash on the phone in a very long time. She doesn't know I'm calling her and she just launched a book yesterday. So we're gonna guess she's not gonna answer, but in case she does, we're ready. All right, let's give this a shot. It's not looking good. 
something good. I don't think she's going to answer. We're going to have to try this again another time. You answered! Yes, I answered. I wasn't expecting you to answer. I'm in a restaurant called Barcelona. <laughs> well, how very global of you. Um, how very bougie of me. Thank you very much. Which leads me to my first question. Bougie cocktail bar or dive bar? Which do you prefer? <laughs> Yes, I love where your head's at. And because you're at a restaurant, we're gonna make this very quick. You are now on the blog, congratulations. We've got the whole like <laughs> setup over here in my newly staged condo that goes on the market tomorrow. Are you filming this live? Oh, 100%, it's not live, but it's going to be on the vlog tomorrow. So just so you know. Of course. Uh, by the way, congratulations. How does it feel to be a published author? A little overwhelming. Does that, does that count? Can I say that? Yep. In, that. The best, in, the, in the best way. In the best way possible. Yesterday in New York City, I was signing books, and it was just like the coolest experience ever. Wait, so you're saying people actually wanted your autograph? I'm basically an egomaniac now. <laughs> oh, you, you want my signature? You Wait. want my autograph? Now, so you're saying you weren't an egomaniac, uh, uh, that neither here nor there. Um, next question. The more I've read your book, the more I've started to realize it's like a more vulgar four hour work week for women. How do you feel about that statement? Okay, I, well, I really enjoyed that pitch. Yeah. We're gonna use that one. We're gonna go with that. Does the person who's sitting here thinking about buying your book, what would you tell them? Oh man, I mean, this book, <laughs> this book teaches you in many ways how to get the courage to get off your ass and go do what you want. And one of the things that we talk about a lot is selling yourself and the mental piece of believing that you are good enough to be received by other people Love and assuming that like someone else on the other side is going to be thrilled to hear from you. And so since we talk all about this idea of being able to toot your own horn, because frankly, Brad Pitt even has to promote his own movies. Naturally. Right. Um, I will say that in, in the spirit of tooting my own, I think that this is, this is a book that falls squarely under, you know, personal development and self-help. Although in Barnes and Noble, you'll find it in business. Uh, but I think that it is probably going to be one of the most entertaining personal development self-help books you will read this year because that was my goal. So I truly hope that that's what is received on the other. We've been getting great reviews from folks all over saying it's fun and it's uh, it, it's not just funny, but also inspirational. That is great. amazing. I also have no idea if the odd, hopefully this is going to work. We're going to see how this works. I'm going to leave you with one last thing. I wrote my review of the book in one of the big headers, and I can't believe I'm telling you this or admitting it. This is very hard for me to do because once it's published, I'm never going to be able to unpublish it. I'm never going to live it down. But one of the headlines is why I'm so jealous of Ash Amberge. And I'm not jealous because you're a published author or because you have the most amazing friends in the world, <clears throat> me, um, or because you get to go to bougie places like Barcelona on like a random Wednesday when you just launched a book. No, the reason that I'm jealous of you is because you are honestly, and I mean this with all sincerity, the best writer I know. Every, every single thing I read of yours, I am like, my mind is blown with how you're able to be so creative, so personal, and write in that style all the time. And it's like, it's very, very impressive, so. Thank you so, so much. I mean, honestly, as someone who fashions themselves an internet entrepreneur, on the, on the other side of that, I'm really a writer, and that's to me the highest compliment you could give me in the world. And I truly mean it. So when I redo my whole website and I need help with copywriting, now because of this, you're just gonna have to help me out, help me out for free. It just comes with the territory. I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to help you out for free because I know that you're kind of slow and you need to help, Sean. So <laughs> it's all right. So we'll get <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I'm going to let you enjoy I'm your... I'm just kidding. Your... I'm just kidding. I'm so delighted that you called right now. I'm delighted you answered because if you didn't answer, then my video wasn't going to turn out very well. So 
Um, thank you for that. I mean, now that you've just taped yourself giving me a compliment, we're going to put that bad boy on the loop. I'm going to email it to you daily. Gonna yeah, be I'm going to try and forget about that part. But this, this is the one week out of our lifetime I have to be nice to you. So here we go. Here it is. Okay, great. For the rest of our lives, I will expect total just like awfulness from you. But today, we get to be nice. That's exactly what's going to happen. So enjoy your gin and tonic. Congratulations on the book. I will send you the link to this when it's live, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, Ogle. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll see you later. Thanks, dog. All right. There you have it. Ashley Amberger, why you should buy the book in her own words. I have no idea if the audio... I don't, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that, but we'll find out. And if you can't hear it, then I'll try and reiterate what she said. But bottom line, where did I put the book? I don't know. The book's over there somewhere. Go buy it. Highly recommend it. I meant that comment about her being the best writer I know. I meant that comment about it being for a work week for a new generation. And as long as you're not easily offended, if you're easily offended, go, go buy the for a work week. You won't like this. But if you're not easily offended, I recommend you check it out. With that, that's going to be the end of this video. If you need a new beautiful condo in Portland, Oregon, I will give you a good deal on this one. It goes on the market today. If you're watching this, it goes on the market today. And it looks, it looks so nice. Man, I never thought it could look this nice. It's great. Uh, we got new videos every Monday and Thursday. Make sure to hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time we got a new video. And if you bought the book, if you like the book, if you like this style video, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.